All right, Anthony from Johnny's MTG here. And if I sound upset today, it's because I had to buy one of these to show off and show you guys why you never buy it. Um, if you've watched anyone else on YouTube, you already know that these are basically a huge scam by the MJ Holdings Company to cash in on some packs they had laying around. So I said, all right, I'll buy one just so that anyone watching this doesn't have to and wonder, oh man, is there actually good stuff in here? All right, you're gonna play. You're gonna pay $19.99 for this, and you will get six chaos packs. Now, I have heard from Talarian because he actually did a video on this um, about the fact that there's something called the chaos draft, where you draft with random packs. Oh, and look, I just want to show this off real quick. You will get this in every single chaos pack. I think there's only two different um, promo cards you get: Curator of Mysteries and one more. They're like a 25 cent hollow, if that. But more importantly, so Tolarian already, um, you should go watch his video. He breaks down pricing and if it's worth it, if it's not. Um, I'm gonna tell you it's not already right off the bat. Um, but more importantly, maybe it is. You know what, maybe it is. Maybe you pull some crazy great thing out of one of these packs and it becomes worth it. But I just think the long run, um, a lot of the cards you're gonna pull from here are just uh, not worth much. Um, I mean, I think they're from the cheapest packs to, uh, I mean, I see some packs like Dragon's Attack here, um, or see Aether Revolt, Arida Station, Ixalan. I mean, these are, you can get them all right now for 250 online. If you look at the right places, 270, you know, 279 a pack. If you do the math on these, that's nine, Eighteen dollars. I mean, I guess, I guess you're 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 close to the to the twenty dollar price point. We're just gonna go ahead and start cracking these. Yeah, I'm depressed that I have to open these, but hold on one moment. All right, sorry about that. My wife likes to bug me, especially when I'm depressed. Oh man. All right, so let's just open these packs. Let's have some. Well, ah, I hope you guys are having a good day. Let's just change that spirit. Let's just have a good time today. We're just gonna, we're gonna have a good time. All right, we're gonna, I mean, I hope you guys are having a good day. Forget all of the negativity around this. Let's just have a good day. Field of Ruins, Thundering Spineback. Otepec Huntmaster. Glacial Fortress, rare, actually. Very nice card, of course. I talk all that crap, and then I get a very nice card on the first pack. And a hollow, a common, but a hollow nonetheless. And then some garbage. So, wow. Uh, not complete garbage so far. So, yes, I guess if you pull the right card out of each one of these packs, or at least one of these packs, this thing does pay for itself. And it's good for a chaos draft. Uh, it's... That is all true. That is all positives for it. But if you're looking for the most bang for your buck for $20, I would suggest many other avenues. Look at that. Now my dogs, see, even my dogs are upset about this. Even my dogs are upset that we have to open this. Sifter Worm. Dagger of the Worry. Worthy. Liliana's Defeat. Sad. I don't want to see Liliana get defeated. She's beautiful. And a mythic rare. Crested Sunmare. Are you kidding me? Other horses you can roll have indestructible. Interesting. And a red-blue insect. And is it insect? Insect is it. Flying in haste. 1-1. One, one. All right. So we pulled a Glacial Fortress out of one pack. A Crested Sunmare mythic rare. It could be a 20-cent mythic. It's still pulling a mythic rare. Um... I have opened these in the past, just to let everyone know, and I've not pulled Jack, so I'm telling you that this is a rare, uh, a rare uh, occurrence. I pulled, I think I opened one of these, and then we did a Chaos Draft uh, at the LGS with one of these. Life Crafter's Gift. Just put this uncommons over here. Winding Constrictor. Very cool looking card, actually. I love the art. 
Efficient Construction, and the Rare Yahenis Expertise. Don't know if it's actually worth anything. An Energy Reserve for an Energy Counter. Put your Energy Counters in this place, because that is, that thing was all about uh, Energy Counters. Uh, very cool looking planes though, I will admit. Uh, it's just, it's not hollow or anything, just very cool looking planes. I'm a big fan of art. Uh, Dragons of Tarkir is next. I'm going to save Innistrad for last, because so I've, I've heard good things about it. So let's go ahead. Let's wobble through the garbage. Let's get right to the Attica Pumbler. Sight of the Scale Lords. Simgar Spell Eater. And our rare is the Mirror Mockery. Enchant Creature. Whenever Enchanted Creature attacks, you may put a token on the battlefield that's a copy of that creature. Exit, exit, uh, shoot. Exile that token at the end of combat. Sorry. Oh, sorry, I'm very tired. I'm trying to figure out how to speak English. Another cool, super cool artwork. And then a Morph Creature token. Um, that's very cool. Uh, Kaladesh will be our next booster. We're just gonna skip through the Kaladesh garbage, the Kadesh garbage. Furious Recruit Whirl Maker. Stop putting rares, Un uncommons over there. Quick, 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 quick. Quick Smith, genius, spit it out. Marionette Master. Another really cool swamp. Another, another really cool swamp. God, I love the artwork. And a Thropter token. For someone that wants a token. Sorry, my uh, family's in-laws are currently staying with us. They're here uh, visiting, so there's a lot of noise in the background. That would be them in our living room. We have a decent sized house uh, with not a lot of furniture, so the echo travels all through the world. All right, our last pack, Innistrad. Pick the brain. Hey, pick my brain for some new ideas for videos because it's getting, it's getting stale, right? Not right? No. Malevolent Whisperers. Paranoid Parish Blade. And Sin Prodder. Very cool. It's Devil. The Devil. Breakneck Rider as a uncommon flip. Very, very cool card. And that is it for the Chaos. I, I love the flip cards, by the way. Uh, that is it for the Chaos pack. Um... I don't know if any of these cards have value. I don't even know if the Mythic has value, but it's a Mythic, so it's nice. Uh, foil common. You do get the 25 cent foil. And then a Glacial Fortress is actually a good card. A nice uh, little value card there. So that's it. That's all you get. Um, it's 15, 30, 40. So 90 cards for $20. You may pull one value card that may make the box. But think about it. If I didn't draw that one Glacial Fortress, this would have been a complete bust. So if you're going for it, as far as collection and best way to spend your money, I wouldn't suggest it. If you want to do it for a draft or something, you're going to have a blast. It is a lot of fun, and that's all I can really say about this product. I know I was hard on it at the beginning, and I don't think MJ Holdings is a great company. I think they purposely try to scam parents and uh, people out of, uh, out of their money, out of... Uh, you know, they repackage crappy product and then they try to resell it and say, oh, no, it's, it's, it's great. It's, it's, it's great. It's a great value. So, uh, yeah, that's it. All right. I really appreciate all of you guys' love and support. Like always, comment down below for a chance to win any card that was pulled here today. Have a great day. Well, of course, the Glacial will go. But have a great day. Like, subscribe. Love you guys. Tons. Bye.